Hello, everybody. Today is Tuesday, August 29th. We're almost into September, believe it or not. This is Matthew Upton, Roth's analyst, coming at you, looking at the Northeast oceanographic conditions to get you excited about the next couple of weeks of fishing and the and what the conditions look like. We're looking right now at the overall sea surface temperature image based on the last couple days. We had to use almost a three-day composite because we had lots of clouds and fog and stuff out east. So we so what this is not the prettiest picture in the world, but you get an overall view on what's going on. And then we have a corresponding ocean color chlorophyll image that shows you the relative color color of the water based on our time tested experience and customized palettes. So what you see is, and first of all, congratulations on all of you guys that fished the Mid-Atlantic and all the winners and the ones that fished the Virginia Beach um, Billfish Tournament. Congratulations. What we look at here, you got green and blue and yellow is your cooler water, your warmer waters, your oranges and, and reds. The Gulf Stream is still pretty warm, 86, 87 degrees. And look at, again, this is of today. We have an eddy forming down here off of North Carolina that is pushing the Gulf Stream back north toward the canyons, Norfolk, Washington Canyon. We have what we've been tracking all summer long, this large clockwise warm core Gulf Stream eddy that is now coming over finally, moving a little bit southwest instead of west, producing some decent blue and warmer water into the Hudson, Toms, and its filament that's peeled off has been producing marlin and mahi and even tuna over Toms, Linden Coal, all the way down offshore of Spencer and, Wil and Wilmington Canyon. And you can't see it real good here, but this water's pushing right up and in between Hudson and Toms with an, a filament peeling off and coming down the bank. And it's been this edge here over oh, 100 and sometimes 500, 1,000 fathoms that they've been catching marlin on. And there's a counterclockwise rotating eddy here. There is another rotation, um, a small clockwise eddy that is pushing some water into to Poor Man's Canyon area. Another filament that you'll see between Washington and Norfolk that's promising. And now what you have, you have to look at for you guys in September fishing, if the weather permits, there's also a clockwise eddy in this, this area, but there's some water pushing up into, looks like Veach Canyon between Veach and Atlantis. And another eddy, it looks like up in this area, providing some decent water for, for the time being in, um, well, looks like oceanographer to Ladonia Canyon area. So we've got lots of things going on still, lots of promising conditions, good conditions. I know there's been some blue marlin caught on this, on this Gulf Stream filament edge that's pushed way inshore off of Oregon Inlet um, to Virginia Beach. And this Gulf Stream has been really pushing up and in more than normal in this area for this time of year. But there's lots of blue water here you'll see within reach off of Washington, Norfolk, Baltimore, and some promising stuff coming down. Now, you, what you do see in the ocean color chlorophyll data, oh, also lots of, lots of decent filaments still up off of, you know, Massachusetts, Connecticut, um, even, even Long Island that this water is still in the in the 70s and, and decent for tuna and even some mahi, perhaps even white marlin up in here. Lots of clouds in this area, so it's hard to see. But what we have to look at in comparison, lots of clouds um, out east, but this nice blue signal of the 
large clockwise rotating eddy. And this water's blending and filtering down the banks. Tom's off of Wilmington now. There's been some white marlin caught early this week right on this edge. There's a decent pot of water inshore between Baltimore and Poor Man's. And you can see that filament there off of, between Washington and Norfolk. And then all of a sudden you got this Gulf, this Gulf Stream eddy right here pushing up, creating lots of decent water inshore off of, you know, Oregon Inlet to Virginia Beach area. But what we have noticed, even though the Gulf Stream is a lot warmer than normal, we do see a lot of greener water, greener water than we normally see for this sustained period at this time of year. So you might want to get offshore and avoid some of this greener turbid water. Uh, but you know, over your better structure, the water's still warm enough for for most species inshore as well. But look at this nice edge, fishtails, block canyon, Hudson. Get out here if you can. Look at these nice blue filaments that are still up inshore off of um, you know Block Island, Martha's Vineyard within reach. Should be some decent conditions here for a few more weeks to a month if the weather permits. Get out and fish. Stay tuned to Ross. Check out our website. Give us a call. And we will be in touch. We'll be back at you in a couple of weeks with a new update, but uh, stay safe. Have a great Labor Day weekend and uh, take care.